A cloudy, rainy morning in Chicago has turned into a glorious afternoon, and we welcome you to Soldier Field. Have been a real concern, both passing and running. Dead last in third down conversions, and that number's on the way down as Cutler is sacked. Played at that level in quite some time. Harris is checked in again. And a nice throw, and this time. Sellers out of the backfield as a first down to the 22 yard line. You know, last week in that loss to the Indianapolis Colts, both Trent Williams and Jamal Brown, they had their hands full. McNabb has it intercepted. And racing the other way is DJ Moore for a touchdown. Wide open across the middle, Santana Moss, and that's a first down. Blocker, something that I think goes unnoticed, but he is able to block the point of attack very well in the run game. Strong running again from terrain. Boy, is he impressive. When you get into the fourth quarter, that's what this offense is built around. So Cooley checks back in, ninth play of the drive. Good protection, wide open, and a touchdown to Santana Moss. Moss his second touchdown reception of the year. Second down blitz coming. And somehow Cutler gets out of trouble but runs into more. In the form of Rocky McIntosh. It sure is and it, it's been a it's been a struggle each and every week for that Saints team. Play action great protection and a good throw. And it's Anthony Armstrong. Armstrong more than terrain, but they've been making an impact. erlacher has been making an impact for quite a while. Blitz coming. Look like Moss just lost his footing. And it's good. Good start to the second quarter. And he sat for the third time in the game. A rack pull with number six on the year. For Israel Adonaje and whoever else lines up opposite. Third and 11 blitz coming and it's batted at the line of scrimmage three and out again for the Bears defense. And a first and five, and they convert to get a first down. They're getting a standing ovation. <laughs> it's Greg Olson, the tight end. Johnny Knox. Cutler four out of four on his drive. A first and ten to the 25 yard line. Short drop again, and Knox again. To the end zone. Touchdown, Johnny Knox. And as they develop that kind of timing, then you're going to see the ball getting out. You're going to see guys catching the ball down the field, whether guys are turned loose up front or not. Earl Bennett's still on his feet. But they've just not been consistent in, in that part of their game for a while. Blitz coming. And that's the first catch in three games for the tight end, Greg Olson. And that'll be good enough for a first down up to midfield. Close to the end zone, 
Still waiting on an official signal. And apparently just shy of the goal line. And take it in. And it looked to me, yeah, it looked to me like it was a it was a touchdown. Well, they're gonna challenge. Chicago is challenging the ruling on the field. Well, you see here, Earl Bennett's got his left knee on the ground well short. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Runner short of the goal line. Chicago is charged with his first timeout. High formation, Chester Taylor in the game. And they let Cutler take it, and he is met head on by Albert Hainsworth. Did he fumble the ball? Redskins say they have. Yeah, well that's you worry about that on the quarterback sneak when you try to extend it across the goal line. There's a lot of bodies there to knock it out of your hand if you don't get it across the goal line. Ruling on the field, the runner's forward progress was not stopped. The ball came loose, recovered by Washington. First down. Wow. A huge play. Well, Albert Hainsworth, he gets a push right there. You see, right over the top, and he gets contact first with Cutler. And as he's trying to extend the ball out, then someone else came in. My, oh my. That's a heck of a play right there by Albert Hainsworth. A big body like that getting up over Olin Krutz. You know, as the center, you're always expecting the guy to nosedive you. And the question there with that look is did he break the plane? Well, they challenged and lost a moment ago. And they don't challenge before this play. And on a first down, the quick hit. What a huge swing from a momentum standpoint. The question is, can the Redskins do anything with it? Now, McNabb fumbles, but he's able to fall back on it. DJ Moore, a second interception for a touchdown. A flag is down on the field. Before the snap, delay of game, offense. Half the distance to the goal, third down. Fred Davis, a tight end. Short of the first down, a catch made by Moss. Horror show offensively through a quarter and a half for the Bears. And not a way to start it on this drive as D'Angelo Hall steps in front of the Jay Cutler pass and snatches it away. And that should never happen. That's what he's been doing in this league for a long time. He's, he's cluing the quarterback, always looking to jump around. Third down, McNabb down the field. And this one's intercepted. Danielle Manning up to the 41. Here he's midair controlling the ball. He's got to hold on to the ball after he hits the ground. He does. It's an interception, and he has he is down by contact because early in the last series. And this is Taylor. Well, a good one there and a good one here. That been pretty, but it's a four-point spread, and Chester Taylor again with running room. Two plays, that's why they've had the success running the ball. Forte back in there for Taylor, and he gets a screen. Another first down. Probably as much as they anticipated when he did sign. Third down, Cutler looking around. Catch made by Hester. Forte. Blitz coming. And D'Angelo Hall snatches it away and races down the sideline with a man to beat. He got a block, and Hall will go the distance. My, oh, my. And as a result of that, Cutler's thrown off his back foot, and it's a ball he just threw in behind. He couldn't, he had no chance of completing that pass. 
but he's trying to give Johnny Knox a chance. But because it's behind him, you got D'Angelo Hall then who's breaking on the ball from the inside out. Probably would have gotten seven if Cutler doesn't fumble on the quarterback sneak. Olson gets away from McIntyre. Sacked by Arakpo, his second sack today is seventh of the year. That's the end of the third quarter. Third and 12. It was broken up by McIntosh, and then it looked like Olsen made the catch. Yes, it is a reception. And they're still going to the three wide receiver sets, trying to get Washington and Nickel People, five DBs, to run it. Forte fumbled the ball and another Chicago turnover. Fourth of the game. Three big turnovers here in the second half for Chicago and Ryan Terrain. 17 14 here, Kirk. Terrain. A first down and then some. Still on his feet all the way to the 42 yard line. Terrain. Another big run inside the 25 all the way down to the 22. 55 of those 89 yards rushing for Terrain have come on this drive. Trying to add to it and will. And the ball is loose. Picked up by Tillman. So Washington gives it away in the red zone. Josh Bullocks. Third interception for D'Angelo Hall. And the question bears repeating. Which team wants to win this game? Well, you see Jay Cutler, Johnny Knox has got to stay on the right. Ball is loose. And Go ahead. Washington covers it up. 37 yards out. Off the upright and no good. So third and four becomes third and 14. the helmet of Landry and all the way back into the arms of Chris Williams that ball hit Landry in the head third and one yeah now they got every play in the playbook at their disposal he didn't get there so the Bears are going to get it back one more time Reception made by Johnny Knox. You know, to do that, you've got to get some time in the pocket. Maybe that's why Mike Martz hasn't called it, as he's so worried about giving up another sack. Well, he finds Knox down the middle of the field. Deep ball. D'Angelo Hall with his fourth interception of the game. So much was written last week in the loss to Indianapolis about all the dropped interceptions by the Redskins secondary. Not today. Well, watch D'Angelo Hall. He turns and bails right at the snap of the ball. And so there was never a chance to complete this one. You know, Jay Cutler wants to take a shot, but there's not there's no double move to get D'Angelo Hall to jump it. Fourth interception. And all of them have been in the second half. That has to be a record four INTs and a half. chance late to still come out on top. They're spending a timeout. They have one left. They're trying to come up with a stop. And a first down catch made by Cooley. I think the entire NFC is pretty interesting still. Terrain across midfield. And that's a first down. 
So a homecoming for Shanahan for McNabb. And they beat the Red or the Redskins beat the Bears. Final count of 17 to 14.